Danielle the Clay Lady here on the Clay Ladies campus in Nashville, Tennessee. This is the third short video in a series of six of how to throw on the potter's wheel one step at a time. So we've centered, we've opened, and now we're going to define the floor and widen. So a lot of times beginner potters, when they first open, that's where they stop and then they start trying to create the wall of the pot. So if you cut this piece of clay in half, this is what it would look like. We've opened, but see how thick all these walls are? What we're going to do is we're going to define the floor. We're going to create the floor of your pot and we're going to do that by cutting in, creating this corner so we have a definite floor and walls on our piece. And this is going to really help create the, the foundation of your pot or your vessel. So my hands are wet, I'm slipping across the surface, my wheel's about medium speed, and I have opened. What I'm going to do with my hands is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to cut into the palm of my hand and it's going to create a little shelf in there. I'm not taking the flat of my fingers and doing this. If I try to thin the wall just by flattening my fingers, a lot of times you get one side thicker than the other. So what we want to do is we're going to take our fingertips and we're going to cut into the palm of our hand. So I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to create a shelf. I'm cutting across the floor, defining the floor. If your hand starts dragging, get water on your hands and cut. The one thing we have to be careful of is to not cut too far. If I cut too far, I'll just create a donut and this will rip off or this will be so thin and the top so thick that it'll start wobbling. So as I cut across, I want to cut, define the floor of my bottom within my mound of clay. But as I cut, I want to make sure that I leave a good thickness here, about the double stuff Oreo right here, so that when I flatten my hands and widen it, I have a good thickness of wall. So here I've cut in, and then I'm going to widen. If you do this step correctly, you've almost already have a pot. You have a definite floor. There's a corner where the floor and the walls meet. And now we're in perfect position for the next step, which is pulling up. Now one thing we do at this point, as soon as we widen, is we need to compress this floor. You can see where it's kind of bumpy sometimes when you cut in, and you have to be careful not to cut down or up. You want to try to cut straight across, but until you've mastered that straight across, sometimes the floor is a little bumpy. So that's when you take your sponge and you push onto the floor of the pot. This is compressing the floor. It makes it strong. It makes sure that you have a good definite corner there where the floor and the wall meet. And it uh, will keep your pot from drying unevenly and creating that little crack in the bottom. So we want to make sure that we compress the bottom with the sponge. This is also your signal that to move to the right side of the pot. The first three steps have been on the left side of the clay. We've centered, we opened, we cut in, we widened, but when we compress, you can tell the sponge doesn't like to be on this side. See how it falls underneath my thumb? It makes me want to move over to this side, so the movement of the clay pushes the sponge under my finger so I'm able to compress well. That's the pot telling you that from now on, the rest of the steps are going to be on the right side for right-handed potters, be on the left side for left-handed potters, but on the right side and we're getting ready to pull up. Do you find that everything you make is a bowl, kind of a short, squatty vessel? Well, the next step, pulling up, will take care of that. So my next video, pulling up, is one you need to be sure to watch if you want to get some height on your vessels, on your pots. So if you need more information about maybe the campus or uh, Clay Lady products or my book for potters, the Clay Lady lesson book, or uh, if you just want to sign up for our newsletter to know what's happening at the Clay Ladies campus, just go to theclaylady.com. So appreciate the teaching opportunity. Hope to see you in the next video for pulling up. And remember, be an artist in everything you do.